morning guys we are out here at cedar key florida home of heat humidity and a crap load of no seams things bite like crazy uh, we just got out here sunrise is just happening right now so well we're gonna head out to some bars some flats try to catch some trout reds and uh, pretty much anything else that bites All right, so it might be kind of hard to throw a top water right now because there's a ton of seagrass out here. But uh, what we're gonna do at the moment is we're in six feet of water and these trout like to sit, five now five feet. And these trout sit out in these flats and right. potholes and stuff like that. And uh, we're just drifting over them. That's where all the bait fish is at. Probably for the first hour and be fishing a top water lure. Um, and then Maybe around 7.30 or 8 o'clock, I'll switch over to either a jig or a popping cork. Did you see that a DOA came out with a weedless top water? Really? Yeah. I like need to buy one. <laughs> that would be sweet right now because look at this. No fish is biting that. Switch to the popping cork because there is too much seagrass. There we go. Yep. No. It's a good size trout. Not a bad one. Nice fish. Yeah. For sure. Nice fish, dude. If you see guide boats and you're probably in the right location. Yeah. <laughs> Got a nice trout on right now. Side of that boat. It's a really nice one. That thing's got a back to him too. Whew. Yeah. Oh, he's hooked good too. Oh, that's a seriously nice trout. All right. Damn. When a trout peels drag, you know it's a pretty good one. <laughs> All right, here he comes. Ooh, that's a good that's trout. a toad. All right, so we just caught this nice 20 inch trout on the DUA shrimp. Pretty much what I was doing is I was letting it sink to the bottom and then giving it a little twitch and that bounces it up. And then when it fluttered down, you just absolutely smacked it. So uh, get a quick look and uh, it's a beautiful morning. So we're gonna see if we can catch a few more. All right, so if you've been watching our videos, you know that a few videos back we made a video titled Primitive Fishing Rod DIY. It was pretty much a homemade rod made out of wood and twine, aka braid, and then paper clips as guys. And now Austin is going to attempt to catch a fish on it. Um, we're gonna throw out a bobber with a popping cork, so it should be pretty easy <laughs> to catch a fish, um, but uh, Hopefully we can get one. This would be pretty cool because we made this a few weeks back Hopefully and it break. Yeah, it could break, but I don't think a small trout is going to break it, but uh, we'll find out And we got a fish on it. <laughs> well, you can't really see the rod bending. <laughs> nope, not but, even a little bit But I feel like if it was a real rod, it'd bend a little bit. It doesn't feel too big I don't think it's massive but it is a jack no baby shark wow incredible baby shark well on the de do it your own rod right here five from Cedar Key. oh you still got the pinfish too 
can reuse that thing. Yeah. Actually. All right, so you should definitely get bit by that. Why should I That'd do that? That'd make for a great clickbait title. No, no, no. <laughs> well, don't All right, so we've been fishing for quite a while now. We went inshore, tried to hit for some redfish. We're not successful in that. We caught some catfish, which are just complete junk fish out here. You can't eat them. They Hate taste like, yeah, they taste like absolute garbage and they take all your bait which is worse. But um, we came back out to the trap flats. We've caught a few small ones, nothing worth showing you guys. So we're gonna fish for a little bit more, see if we can catch something of decent size. And if not, we're gonna go back and we're gonna show you guys an unbelievable recipe that you can cook yourself at home for these sea trout. you that's a good play damn good play Austin and I finally got back and now we're in the process of cooking the fish we've got a few trout at least for tonight that we're gonna cook the rest that we're gonna put in the freezer for a future date so Austin just did a phenomenal job of skinning the fish before we had just taken the flays off we had not taken the uh, skin and scales off so that's what Austin just did he just took a knife put it parallel to it and pulled it off. So now we're going to take the flays, dip them in olive oil, and then put some Old Bay seasoning with thyme and basil, maybe a little salt pepper, a little bit of lemon juice, extra fresh, and you really cannot go wrong with this. Put a little bit of olive oil in your pan, get it on a low simmer, and you're gonna be in for a serious treat. All right, so we're just gonna dive in and just eat this. Not even like put it together as a full meal. Protein, oh, it's really good. Definitely taste the lemon. Can definitely still taste the lemon. <laughs> Very lemony. <laughs> There's literally a scale on my fork right now. <laughs> That's where we're at in our night. No, yeah, it's it, it's good. It's just there's an overwhelming like lemon flavor. I mean, I did like completely drench it in lemon. I think that's where the lemon comes from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, overall good day. You know, mm -hmm. caught a caught a shark on a on a tree branch. That was good. That was pretty cool. Um, boat ran out of gas a couple times. That was good. Oh, did not even mention that, but no, you explain so it? Our the fuel motor. filter was loose, and so we were having air intake into the fuel line, and so it was causing causing our motor to stall. So <laughs> while we were fishing today, like we were running at like thirty five miles an hour, and our boat just completely stalled. So that really, was fun. Yeah, really comforting when you realize you may be stranded out, and there was a thunderstorm coming by, so we were just kind of like. All right, well, this is the end. Keys. And, uh, and just had a jacket. <gasps> oh, fish bone. I can definitely feel it. It's not, <laughs> just not go on well. I guess that's my fault since I filleted the fish. <laughs> I was just like talking about like the hail. And then like, I was like, oh, that's really, like a piercing pain in my like throat. <laughs> I'm gonna get some milk. Sure. Oh, great. Good. We only have almond milk. That's what I want. Yeah, totally. <laughs> It's like milk that comes from a freaking nut. Like, what? Why? Why is this? Big? No, I want dairy. I want it comes from a cow. Just, just take a look at this. Just look. It looks like someone took chalk, ground it up, put it in a blender, and added a little bit of water. Or 
just really, really like soggy concrete before it dries. That's what it looks <laughs> what? like. What? Oh. <laughs> Dude, Dom, you're cleaning that up. All right, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video at any point in time, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of this absolute shenanigans of Voss and I just doing absolute stupid crap like this. And until the next video, guys, keep fishing and uh, keep it classy because we're not. <laughs>